Hey, it's Michael Saul, but everybody calls me Tiny. This video is these two words. Tell me a bounce is coming soon. This is stock market analysis for the week of June 3rd, 2019. If you would like to receive intrigue updates, go to www.attackthemarkets.com. Put in your first name, your best email address, follow the directions, and you will be on the distribution list. Facebook group is at facebook.com slash groups slash attack the markets. If you like what you're hearing on this video, and come on, you know you do, give me a thumbs up and Leave a comment so I can move up the ranks in YouTube and to never miss a video when I upload one. Click subscribe, smash the bell, and you'll be notified when a new video pops up on the channel. So, what are the two words? Eh, let's wait a little. Now, nah, just give them to you. Oversold and unloved. Okay, my two favorite words in an uptrend. Let's start with the unloved part. Nobody likes like this rally off. <laughs> The December lows. I mean, the entire 10-year rally, people are all, it's, what do they say? It's the most hated rally in history, whatever it is. So we're on love now. Oh, we're going to go down. It's sell in May, which uh, actually worked pretty well this year so far, right? Sell in May. I don't know about the go away part, but at least sell in May and maybe come back the end of the month and cover and you made a couple of bucks, right? But who knows if the go away part is uh, is going to hold. So oversold. Uh, and it's relative spe relatively speaking, right? I mean, if you look at this pullback, yeah, it's not bigger than that. It's, of course, not bigger than this waterfall. But these little guys and these little guys and little guys. So relatively speaking, since the push-up off the December lows, this has been a pretty, uh, pr a, a much deeper pullback than what we have seen so far this year. Now, if you notice these lines, I have some uh, just some regular measuring the trend lines here, we're measuring the moves down using trend lines here, and I always look for symmetrical relationships. If you do that, you'll see, you'll be astonished how often the market will move in a symmetrical manner. If that is the case this time, well, then the S&P has a little bit more to go here. Now, am I looking to just buy off that number? Absolutely, positively not. Okay, I am looking at that number as a ref reference point. I want to see a reversal, at least a reversal candle there. If not, a little pattern takes a couple of days. Now, sometimes it could be one candle, but the pattern could set up on the 30-minute chart or the 60-minute chart or the 120-minute chart, whatever it is. But that's what I'm going to be looking for, right? I still believe we are going to fresh highs from here. I still believe even the other indices that haven't been there yet are going to make fresh highs. But that doesn't mean that I'm just buying all the way down. I need something to lean into, to lean against, like a pattern, and some support. Looks like we have some support from a symmetrical measured move, plus we have this little dip right here in March, that low as well. So th I'm looking at that level as a reference point that I want to see a pattern. Okay, That's what I'm looking for here on the short term. Dow, okay, looks like the Dow... Uh, similar if you want to draw the lines, and I really don't care that much to do that with the Dow. Now, the Russell, the Russell has been acting weak for a while. It is below uh, its little March low. Has next support coming down here at 143.50s, so we want to watch that. The mid caps, if I could spell it right, that's always the number one requirement. You have to spell it right in order for it to come up. You have next resistance down here. Uh, I'm sorry, next support at 322.28. Not even going to edit it because I'm tired and I want to go to bed and I've been reading about the market all day, so I wanted to get this video done. Here's the NASDAQ closed below the 200 day moving average. Watch next support down here at uh, 169.30s. This one, let's let's draw the lines, and I'll show you how I did it. All I did was I took the top of this move, and I went like that. I think that's close enough. Maybe one of the other candles may be a little higher, but like I said, I'm only looking for reference levels, so it really doesn't matter. Then all I'm doing, if it would stop, there we go. I create a parallel line, and then I add it to that. You could do that with most charting programs. You can see here, the measured move comes in at 172.40s, not down here at the March lows. Remember, the NASDAQ had been acting better relative strength-wise. Semiconductors. You know, a lot of people are looking for support here at the 200-day moving average. Now, just because we're below it, we haven't moved away from it yet. So it could still potentially hold as support. 
But if this is coiling up here, right, because this is a key decision area for 200 days. So if this is coiling and it releases, semiconductors could be headed down to last year's lows. So pay attention to that. Here's KLA Tanker. Looks like the same pattern. Here's NVIDIA. Looks like it's going to the bottom of its range. And here's Intel also coiled up. What about the banks? Let's look at the banks. The banks started to move down last week. I'll continue to move down this week, I should say. You do have support coming up right here at 90.77. We want to watch that. Bank of America. I mean, I, I'm not... I look at Bank of New York. Smacked. Citigroup was the better performer. Um, just it's JP Morgan. I, I'm just not interested in these right here. They don't have good patterns. Here's Northern Trust. I think they look lower to me. Okay, so I'm not looking here to, to jump in here. Can the market bounce without the banks? Yeah. Or the banks can underperform. Maybe they bounce. Maybe it's just a lane bounce if the market starts to bounce. So we'll see. I don't, you know, let me be clear. And I probably wasn't clear because, like I said, I'm a little bit tired. Uh, just because I'm looking for a bounce here and just because I did say I think we're going to new highs, I don't know if we're going to go to new highs off of whatever bounce this is, right? I always take it one step at a time. First, I want to see support come in. I want to see the... Uh, support hold. I want to see a pattern, something to lean against, and then I want to see us com see confirmation that we're actually getting a bounce off that level. Okay, so just to be clear on that, let's look at the broker dealer. Doing a little bit better than the banks, but nothing here that I'm rah rah about. Here's Goldman, not really interested. Morgan, yeah, not interested in buying this here. And what about shorts? Well, it's moving away to the downside. So if I'm going to look to short, I want to get a pause here. I want to get either a bear flag or a consolidation or something of that nature. Let's look at Caterpillar and John Deere. Yeah, just sloppy John Deere. Looks like it could be in a little bit of a, a bearish type pattern. Is it a flag? I mean, it's it's in it's in this big range, so it technically isn't a flag, but it's in the spirit of one. And if it continues to the downside, we want to watch these lows here. How about the Glamour stocks? Amazon, watch the 200-day moving average. Apple, yeah, not really interested here uh, just yet. Here's Facebook, lost its 50-day moving average for the first time uh, since it got back above it in January. So we want to watch. We do have previous resistance, which is now support, change of polarity, 174.43. Alphabet, yeah, not, not acting well. Netflix, yeah, just more sideways than anything. How about Tesla? Yeah, I'm not interested in this. I haven't been interested in this in a very long time. You can go back and watch the videos if you're new here. Uh, not really interested in this. I think this stock, there's a lot of problems here, and I think there could still be some volatility to the upside where if Musk says something, oh, we're going to invest, we're going to buy back shares, we're going to do something. But, I mean, right now, it looks like Tesla, in my opinion, is in a lot of trouble. What about Disney? Full disclosure, my kids do own Disney, but I'm not looking to, I don't even know how to sell the stock, I don't think, but uh, I'm not looking to sell it, so I'm not looking to do a pump and dump, but I uh, can't really pump and dump Disney either. They don't have that many shares, uh, but you can see here it's trying to hold its own, trying to hold its own, here, hold its own here. This would be one that I would watch if we do get a bounce, and no, I know that's kind of like, well, you're saying that because of your kid's I'm, I don't even know how, I don't think they own together 100 shares. So, again, I'm not looking to pump and dump it, but it is holding up well relative strength-wise. Go look at something else if you're not interested in Disney because you don't want to uh, participate in whatever Tiny's trying to do here. But no, the stock is really, so far, holding up okay, but I want to see... The, the market bounce, right? Otherwise, what good is relative strength? Unless the market's bouncing, you want something with the wind at your back, right? Okay, good. How about bonds? Rocking and rolling. What a move. Parabolic move. I am looking for a pullback here in the TLT, although rates are going down, so you have adjustable mortgages. You are happy, right? Look at the TLT. Nice move to the upside here. I would look for a pause or a pullback. How about gold? Ah, gold woke up. Got to pay attention here. Gold could uh, try for these highs up here, try for the early 2018 highs. Here's the GDX, right? It was coiling up at the 200-day. Boom, released to the upside. And look at oil dropping. Yay! I hope oil goes to the December lows. Gas is still ridiculously high around me, so I'd like to 
shave 50, 60, 70 cents a gallon off for it. All right. All right. So let's do the recap. We are oversold and unloved. Two words that tell me a bounce is coming soon, is likely coming soon. Will that bounce be the bounce to lead us to new highs? Yeah, one step at a time. I do think we're going to new highs. I don't know if we're going to new highs off of whatever bounce starts whenever the bounce starts. Okay? That's it. Questions. Tiny at attackthemarkets.com. Join the free email list to get intraweek updates. Have a great trading week. I'll talk to you next week in the video or intraweek on the email list.